What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about a really cool holster. Now this is made by Squared Away Customs and the owner over there, his name is Mark. Uh, I worked with him a little bit on coming up with this design. Uh, I kind of reached out to him and said, you know, what I'm looking for, and, and you heard me say this in the past in my videos in uh, regard to holsters, you know, when it comes to the retention and the amount of retention, each holster manufacturer is a little bit different. So what I had talked to him about was coming up with an adjustable retention system, which you can kind of see right here on this holster right here. It's called the Niner. Now, I'm not sure if he's actually going to be making it full time, but we're going to talk about it today. And we're going to talk about, you know, I'm going to show you some of the other holsters he makes because after I got this one and I saw the quality, I went ahead and got some other ones. So we'll go ahead and talk about that today. All right, so first off, let's talk about the uh, fit and finish of this uh, holster. So as you can see, the edges are not super polished. Uh, it's just like I like it. It's kind of just like a, uh, a slight, you know, beyond matte finish or flat finish with the edges. Uh, everything's put together well. And this is actually a pancake uh, model. Now, when you might be asking what a pancake kind of model or holster is. It's one piece of Kydex that's put together kind of like a, uh, like a taco. And on a regular uh, Kydex holster, like you can see here, it's two pieces that are pressed together versus one piece that's folded over. Um, so you can kind of see the difference here. And this is the other holster I got. It's actually a second level retention. You push this down, you get your uh, second level retention. Um, so that's one thing that, that I got from him uh, very recently. And uh, I thought I'd throw it in here because it's just it's awesome. This is called the 5.0 holster. I also have an inside the waistband. I've been using that I really like as well. Let's get back to this one. So as you can see, there's real good detail on the holster. Um, some holsters out there that from other manufacturers, you won't see a real good amount of detail. Those are the ones I usually particularly stay away from. Um, I've actually had some holsters I've actually had to send back to people who have sent me them to review and um, just because of the sheer fact that it's just not functional. Um, and you don't have that problem with this one right here. This is very functional, very practical, and you can see that the definition is in the holster right here. Um, so that's really good. So let's talk about the retention part of it. So when I talked to him about having an adjustable retention, um, he came up with this design and said, hey, you think this will fit what you're talking about? Um, so what he has is we have four uh, screws right here. In the middle, there's some uh, rubber in between the screws. Uh, and, and the Kydex sides, which means you can actually squeeze this down and make it tighter or make it looser. So you can really adjust it down because you have different levels. Um, so if you need it a little more adjusted for tightness up top, you do this one. On the bottom, you do the one down there. So that adjusts your uh, retention for you. And that's definitely something I don't really see on a lot on the market. So I'm really glad that he came up with this design. Really easy to work with. And uh, you know, if you're looking for something custom, you can definitely uh, work with Mark over there. I guess that's why he has custom in the, uh, the name of the company. <laughs> so when you're looking at this, you'll see that it is a little bit narrower than like a basic holster, as you can see over here on the other one I have here, the 5.0. Uh, it actually kind of sits right inside of the belt loops of the 5.0. And, you know, I thought originally that would be a problem um, as far as the weight distribution. I really haven't seen any problem with uh, carrying it, with it flopping over or anything like that, which is what my original assumption was. Uh, I still do like the little bit wider uh, for weight distribution, um, but I haven't seen that become a problem yet. Um, so I can't really complain about it uh, to this point. As far as holstering uh, the gun, you can see that it goes in easily. Uh, some you actually have some trouble trying to get the, uh, the light in here. This is a light bearing holster. Uh, you can see this goes right in and you have a slight click at the end right there. And uh, it's in place. It's not really super wide open on the sides here, which is what I like. Uh, I cannot get my finger in here, which is a good thing. Uh, as far as debris and everything like that goes. So a huge fan of that. I've seen some holsters in the market that have really wide openings right here for the light. Of course, you're gonna have to have a little bit of an opening here to um, have that light accessible into the holster. But uh, he really does a good job of making sure that it's um, you know pretty close to the gun so you don't have that problem uh, with debris and everything else getting into the gun. Tons of colors, basically whatever color you want, you can ask him for it. He'll either get it uh, or he pretty much has it. Um, and I'll just get a close up here of this. You can see that there's good hardware uh, as far as the belt loops go and the, uh, the screws. And uh, we'll get a close up of some of the action. You can see there's some scratches and stuff on it from me using it. Uh, last range trip, we were doing some prone shooting with a rifle, so this is definitely hitting the ground a little bit. So here's a close up of the uh, holster. Go ahead and move it around. You can see the different, you can see that kind of taco look to it where you kind of fold it over. Here's the uh, adjustable screws right here. You can see that right there. 
and you can just see that everything's done very well and uh, there's a reason custom is in the name uh, of Mark's company. I've really enjoyed it. It's my favorite holster to date. This one's definitely uh, right there with it as well. Um, but as far as you know, having something really innovative, this Niner holster definitely does that. Uh, the adjustability really comes in handy because uh, when you're looking for a different amount of retention, uh, and everybody likes, you know, some people might like a little bit more retention, some people might might uh, like a little bit less. Uh, so having this adjustable, you know, the ability to adjust it right here is super, uh, super cool. So if you guys are looking for a great holster, go over and check out what uh, Squared Away Customs has. I'll put a link down below. Uh, definitely doing awesome stuff. Uh, this is actually the mass gray color. Um, so you can see that he definitely does do uh, a lot of different colors. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have uh, anything from Squared Away Customs, go ahead and put it in the comments down below or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later.